There's a curious paradox built into deterrence strategy, and no one has a clue how to get around it. The paradox is this. Deterrence is dependent upon strength. Well, that's obvious. The stronger your nuclear arsenal, the more the other side's deterred. However, should your deterrence fail for any reason, your strength instantly becomes your greatest liability, inviting attack instead of preventing it. Hoist on your own petard. And that is where all the crazy scenarios come in, in which war breaks out precisely because no one wants it to. <laughs> Watching a rehearsal of the play End of the World by Arthur Coppi. End of the World is one of those controversial plays that uh, Catco is known for. Really? Oh, I'm not kidding. The Contemporary American Theater Company, or Catco, was founded in Columbus in 1984. It's located on North Park Street and is billed as a contemporary American off Broadway theater. It really is a great deal of breadth in contemporary American theater. Um, I mean, we, we'll cover plays, feminist plays, uh, we'll cover political plays, um, we'll do old melodramas, a little bit of everything, really. Catco is called the Off-Broadway of Columbus, or Off-Broadway in the Short North, and really that means that we aim at a kind of informal atmosphere. We do kind of provocative, off-the-wall sorts of plays, comedies, dramas, and all sorts of styles and subjects. We tend to focus a little bit more on, I think, political and social um, um, plays, maybe, than some of the other theaters do. But the place was off limits to plain old folk like me, so they very graciously invited me to Jim's house. It was founded in 1984, really out of a need of, uh, uh, in the local theater scene, to provide some kind of a place for experienced and trained resident actors to work. At that time, uh, all that was going in Columbus were a number of community theaters. I've been with CATCO since it started in 85, and one of the things I like about it is the choice of plays that they do. I, I just like the quality of work that's behind the direction and the choice of plays and the actors you get to work with. We tend to attract really talented actors here, and it's always fun for talented actors to work together. The theater is attracting an audience and growing. Recently retired Ohio State University professor Ionia Zelenka joined the company as their first associate director. I got this offer, and I'm very pleased to have the offer because I admire Jeff Nelson, who is the artistic director here who's founded this theater. He's a former student of mine, and uh, I think he's very imaginative, very bright, and I think he started something that's going to go someplace. But there's an outlet for what I want to do, which is to act and direct. I stopped teaching so that I could do that. I think, see, and once you get, once you get all this prop stuff out of your way, and you're able to just throw those lines out and yeah. uh, carve without looking. Because that's very important. Mm -hmm. Say, if you play with your eyes down, nothing happens, right? Right. And, uh, and I think what, what you want to work on is um, less commenting facially. I don't know if you know you're doing it. Mm -hmm. you're, you're making a lot of faces that, uh, that um, are good. Muggy? Yeah. <laughs> That's the Just word. Spit it yeah. out there. Yeah. Uh, Television and films are uh, more, a more passive form of entertainment, especially sitting home and watching a VCR, putting a movie in. You essentially sit there and you watch something that is not going to be altered by your presence whatsoever. When you're in the theater, uh, you may not be aware of it, but your response as an audience member has a very big effect on the performance. Actors are both consciously and subconsciously extremely aware of the kind of feedback they're getting from an audience and they adjust the performances. There's a whole different dimension to being there, seeing something happening live at the moment that in which anything could go wrong, anything could happen. The, I mean, the potential is unlimited. The only issue. The absolutely only issue. Is do they, line, want to go first? Is do they want to go first and preempt this attack? Or wait it out? And go second? Running a theater in any city in the country, whether it's Columbus or anywhere, is always kind of a struggle. Any arts organization faces the same kind of 
uh, crises and problems because in the, in the first place you're, you're looking at a handicraft industry in, in the days of mass production. But that's always the challenge on a day-to-day -day basis, not only to attract ticket buyers and, and people into the theater, but to attract um, people to donate to the theater and to attract, to attract actors and artists and to provide uh, some chance for them to grow, really, in what they're doing. Ah, uh, yes! <laughs> you guys are a scream!